Hi, this is Keiko at Wisteria Suri Ranch, and today I'm going to show you how to needle felt an alpaca. A Suri alpaca, actually. Okay, so let me cover the materials first. So you'll need some a foam and some needles. You'll want to have a slightly finer gauge needle for this project since we're working with Suri alpaca. So I would recommend a 38 gauge for all purpose for core wool and then either a 40 or a 42. You might want to have both depending on the fineness of the Suri alpaca fleece you have. So you will need some core wool. Um, you will need about 0.32 ounces or about 9 grams. And this little alpaca here is about 0.49 ounces or 14 grams for the finished weight. And it is roughly, I'm going to just give it to you in inches, about three and a half inches wide and about four inches tall, just so you have a size reference. And I do have an alpaca size guide, which will be on Etsy. And so you can support me through the purchase of the pattern and it'll come with a step-by-step -step tutorial. Okay, so we got the core wool and then you're going to want to have some Surrey alpaca fleece. So this is a washed fleece. Um, this is actually from a baby, so it's really nice and soft. Um, if you can't get one from a baby, you can always just get um, Surrey alpaca fleece. You'll probably want to buy it washed, but you can buy it unwashed and then gently wash it yourself. Um, or you can always use like lamb locks. I've seen um, people do it with uh, yarn. So there are different creative ways to do it. Uh, but this is the one I'm going to use for the tutorial since I raised three alpacas. <laughs> okay, and then um, for the face, I like to cover it with fawn, but it depends on the color of alpaca you want to make. But since this is my Surrey alpaca, I'm using a little bit of fawn Surrey alpaca, and I'm just covering the face for a nice, clean, finished look. You don't need to cover it, so it isn't totally necessary. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of this similar color, uh, sort of like a rose gray, or it's brown and white mixed is considered rose gray in um, alpaca color <laughs> charts. So for the years, you can technically use some of this by um, opening it up and fluffing it up or using a dog slicker brush to kind of align it. So that's another option. I'm going to need a little pinch of black for the eyes and nose and just a tiny little bit of pink for the inside of the ears. Okay, so that covers your materials and I will do a close-up so you can see uh, the step-by-step -step process. Okay, so I am back with the step-by-step. -step. So for this particular one, actually, the sizing guide is going to be really helpful um, because they're I'm going to be making three parts. I'm going to be making the body and then the neck and the head in three pieces. And then I'm going to combine the three. And so um, let me just show you the size guide. So it'll kind of give you the sizing for the body, um, the neck, oops, sorry, neck, and then the head. And then on this side, it'll give you kind of the proportions and how to, um, what it, what it should kind of look like when it's attached. So you can, oops, this way. So as you're making it, you can kind of match it um, to the pattern to kind of see where you're at. So for this one, it's very helpful, <laughs> but I'm going to kind of give, I'll try to give you the sizing as I go as well. So I'm going to first um, roll the body. So I'm just going to roll it right here behind the foam so it's a little easier. And this one can just be like a little longer sausage like this. So I'm going to just double check with my size guide. That's about good. So at the seam where um, it rolled up here, this is where I'm going to poke first and sort of secure it. And already that's going to um, keep it together. So. It's really nice and the tighter you roll it the less you'll have to poke so that is very handy to know okay so this is going to be my rump um, tail end so this one's gonna be a little rounder so I'm just poking it in on the rump end okay and then the next side um, 
the chest side, I'm sorry, chest and neck side. So first I'm just gonna go ahead and close this up, poke that in. Okay, so I'm just closing this in. Okay, and then this side actually, I'm going to be poking it in, going in this direction a little bit to give it more of a triangular shape. So where we actually body score or check the weight of our alpacas is right here, right here. <laughs> so we want it to be a good little triangle with our, like this. Um, of course, many of ours are <laughs> over conditioned and so they end up being more like circular, which is okay. <laughs> but um, ideally we're going to kind of make it narrow we're here at first since once we add the fiber they'll all look a little more round so that will um, let me just poke it for a minute and then I'll show you what it looks like okay. and on the size guide I do have like the chest and the rump so you can kind of check against it so just a quick idea so it kind of looks triangular like this and then the rump end which is the tail end is going to look rounder like so and you'll see that right here with the chest and then the rump and you'll see it on the body okay so you can spend a little more time to poke this and secure the shape better um, and then the bottom okay so this was the top line up here rump and then the chest, which is triangular. And then the bottom, I'm going to actually flatten it a bit um, so that the alpaca will sit. So for alpacas, we say cush, C-U-S-H-E-D in cush or cush in, in the U.S. Um, I don't know, it might be spelled with like, I've seen it with a K, so it might be different in different parts of the world. But um, alpaca sit cushed, which means sitting position like this, like this. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do because this is an easier pose. Okay, so here's our body and I'm going to double check roughly. Okay, it's pretty close, a little rounder on the rump. And you can always just add more wool as needed. So if it wasn't big enough, all you have to do is just add, take a little more wool and Add it like that and then poke it in okay all right so that's my body so I'm going to do the neck next so I'm just going to take a little more of this white gonna get a little bit more and again same with the neck you can always add more so for the neck I'm going to want the top the part where it attaches to the head uh, narrower or smaller than the part that attaches to the body. So I'm actually going to focus on this side, the the narrow side, and I'm going to roll kind of um, like this where I'm holding this tighter and then I'm letting this go wide. So I'm actually rolling at an angle and that's how you can get a nice little triangular shape. You see that? Okay, so then just flipped it over where the fiber meets. I'm going to go ahead and poke. And I'm right now using either a 38 or a 36 gauge for the core wool, which is coarser than the alpaca fiber. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and poke. And then I'm going to want to leave this top portion right here where it's going to attach to the head and the bottom portion where it's going to attach to the body loose and have some loose fibers so that I can poke those in and it'll be really easy to attach. Okay, so spend a little bit more time um, poking it and making it relatively firm. I just want to show you the process more so I'm not poking it in nearly as long as I would for most of my regular projects. Okay, so this is where it kind of ends being um, Felted, this is loose actually, and this is also loose. So I'm going to check it against my size guide. Okay, it's maybe a little bit bigger. So in this case, since it's just a little bit bigger, all I'm going to do is I'm gonna poke it in a little tighter to make it smaller. If it wasn't big enough, I would just add more wool. 
And when you do add the wool to the neck area, I would just add it to this section, not add any extra fluff because you don't need a whole lot of extra fluff to attach it. It just kind of acts like a little wool glue <laughs> without the glue. Okay. All right. So at this point, since it matches the size guide pretty well, then I'm going to make sure that it's going to be roughly the right size for the body before I work on the head. So that looks, so I'm just gauging it. Okay. So that's where the fluff is. So that's about right. And then the head here. Okay. So now I've got the body, the neck, and I'm going to work on the head. Okay. So I'm going to keep these parts out of my way. Okay, and then now I'm going to do the little head. Okay, so the head is going to initially start out as a little sausage. So um, I'm just folding it up a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to just roll. Roll, 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 roll. And then where it came together, I'm just going to poke and secure. And then I'm just going to roll it around and poke it and secure it. And then I'm going to poke the ends in. So whenever you're poking at an angle, watch your fingers and you also do not need to go very deep. So you don't need to go like jabbing all the way into here. You just need a little bit. So that will also prevent little injuries from your um, fingers. Okay. And then the other end, so I'm just doing a quick little poke, 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 poke on the head. And this will be covered with the um, fawn fleece, so should be good. Okay, so now that I have a little, little sausage shape, I'm going to make sure the size is roughly good. Yes. Okay, so to shape the alpaca head a little more like a wedge, um, and you can look at the side view on the size guide. Um, you'll see it kind of raised. Here, let me actually show that to you so you see what I'm talking about. Okay. okay. Oh, I'm working backwards. <laughs> okay, you see the side there? <laughs> that's the nose, and then that's the back part of the head. So we have to build up to that. Okay. And so what I'm doing is I'm just getting a little bit of um, core wool again, and then this side feels a little bit bigger. So all I'm going to do is wrap this around the back part of the head like that. Okay, so the, all I did was just wrap it, and then I'm just going to poke it. And that's just to build the head shape into more of a little wedgy shape. Okay. All right. So you just kind of do that. And then again, double check with your size guide. This one is particularly helpful, even for me. Okay. So checking. Good. Perfect. <laughs> okay. So now, oops. Now what I'm going to do is attach the three parts. So I've got the body, the head, and the neck. So let me double check and make sure the rough size is okay. And we can always add wool, so it's, it's okay if it's not quite right. But, okay, the neck looks a little long, but I think I can get that. All right, so the first two pieces I want to put together will be the head and the neck. So the top part of the neck where um, it was really nice and loose still, I'm going to open it up just a bit so it's a little easier for me to attach. Okay, so you can kind of see that. Okay, and then which way is the head going to go? This way? Okay, so I'm going to go backwards like this, figure out where the top of the head is. Hold on. <laughs> okay, there. Okay, so I'm going to put the top of the head on the foam, top of the head on the foam, upside down. So this is the bottom of the head or face. And then I'm going to put the neck like upside down here. And then I'm going to poke it. 
So I'm poking the fluffy part in like that. Yeah, you can see, I think. I'm just going all around. So I'm gonna do this first and then I'm gonna take a look at it and make sure it's attached properly. Okay. So it'll look something like this so far. The head and the neck. Okay, and now I'm gonna clean it up. So I'm just going to poke the loose fiber. Actually this one, I'm gonna poke the loose fiber right into the head. Okay. And again, most of this will get recovered and slightly reshaped, so that will work. Okay. So I've got this so far. And now I'm going to attach, oh well, let me double check. Okay, so neck, body. Okay, so I'm just uh, checking it against this one, the whole body one, just to make sure I'm on track. Okay, so now I'm going to attach the head and neck to the body and I'm going to attach it on the chest side, so the triangular side, not the rump. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna fluff it up. Okay, and then I'm gonna attach it right at the front like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the fluff in. Okay, just poking it in. Sorry, just checking the camera to see if you're able to see. All right, so we're poking, 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 poking. Okay, so that's in. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and poke a little bit from the top to make sure that it stays in. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and clean that up real quick. Although these, this whole part will get hidden under the fleece. So it's not a really big deal. Okay. Okay. So now already looking at this without even checking the um, size guide we'll need to build up the back a little bit and then angle the neck so actually for this one let me just check yes I'm going to build up the body first so what I'll do is I'll add a little bit here okay so I just have a fluff and I'm going to put it here Poke it in. I'm poking the top line, which is right here. And then I'm going to just poke it in the bottom. And do the same on the other side. So this is the part where you'll spend a little bit of time getting the shape just right before you add all the uh, fleece on. Okay. Okay, so just keep poking away until um, the body's a little more of a balanced proportion. Okay, so let's see. So the body is being built. Okay, so now I'm going to reinforce the base of the neck a little bit. Oh, there's some here. Let's see. Okay, so I'm going to, well, let's see. Is that how I want to do this? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just reinforce the neck like this. Okay, just poking, 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 poking. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so I'm going to keep poking a little bit more here. Okay. 
and you can make these in different sizes um, so this is the first size we're making okay so that looks pretty um, smooth on the neck I could probably build a little bit more oops there I could probably build a little bit more on the rump but I'm just gonna continue on now actually the neck looks too thick okay Okay, and then now right here where the head and um, neck meet, that's needing a little bit of reinforcement. So I'm going to put that and wrap it. There. Could make a dinosaur too. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you can kind of see how it's um, smoothing out and the lines are looking much nicer as we build. So, okay, so you can just kind of keep going and um, do that. And let me give you the size real quick. Okay, so per the sizing guide, the head width from here to here is about 1.5 inches or 3.5 centimeters right here under the neck to the base is three inches or about 7.5 centimeters and then from here the rump to the front of the alpaca is 3.5 inches or nine centimeters and then this area behind the neck to the rump is about two inches or five centimeters. So this is all written down in the size guide, but in case you don't have it, you can just take quick notes and draw it out. Okay, so that's what I have so far. Okay. Okay, so continuing on, and just a quick note, um, the finish weight of this alpaca here um, I have mentioned was 0 0.49 ounces or 14 grams. Um, and when you split that up between the fleece and the core wool, the core wool body right here is about 0.32 ounces or nine grams. And the fleece I use for this little one is about, this one here, is about 0.18 ounce or five grams. Just so you have an idea of how much you need for um, this size. Okay, so continuing on. So now I'm going to add a little bit of this Surrey Fawn. It's really gorgeous and light on the face. So covering the face. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a little bit. And you can do this a lot of different ways. You don't have to use Surrey Alpaca. Surrey Alpaca is a little trickier to felt because it's so fine and a little slippery. So what I'm going to do to make it a little easier, I'm just going to pre-felt it with my hands. So I just pull some fiber and then I'm just going to rub it. Okay, and so now I have a little pre-felt. <laughs> just makes it a little easier. And all you need to do is cover the face like this because we're going to cover the rest of the body so you can kind of see where the face is exposed that's really all you need to cover okay and now I'm gonna actually switch over to what I think is my 40 gauge needle okay and I'm going to first poke all around the edges just poking around the edges first to secure it behind the head right here and it's really smooth and buttery nice and alpacas come in a lot of natural colors they say 22 but there's like shades in between <laughs> so um, I, I don't know if I've actually seen all 22 but you get the whites, the beige, and then there are like three different shades of fawn, and then of course stuff in between <laughs> that's not actually on the list. And then you've got your um, browns, the blacks, and the grays. And then the multis, which have like two or three different colors in their fleeces. Okay, so 
Okay, so I got it all around the edge, so now I'm going to want to poke it in as I um, kind of double check the shape of the face. And I'll probably start working on my little standing alpaca one too, um, so you can do different poses. The standing one that I've done in the past, um, that I've made for fun, <laughs> um, does use pipe cleaners to give it more stability since it's um, standing on all fours. But I don't think it's too, too hard. It just is a step-by-step -step process. Okay. So, you can kind of see the face has been added, and I'm actually going to angle the face a little bit. So right now, let's see, so her face is pretty um, even like so. Um, I think I'm going to um, tuck her neck down a little bit. So let me show you what I'm going to do. I just want to tuck her neck down. I'm sorry, tuck her head down just a little bit so that her eyes will look more towards me. Okay, there, perfect. So it wasn't a whole lot, but I'm just angling it out. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so I just poked under to kind of um, angle the head down just a little bit. So when I put her eyes in, I can see it better. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to work on the years. So like I mentioned, you can take whatever little fleece you have and um, fluff it out enough. So you can already see this. You can fluff it out enough and use this as roving to match the color if that's what you, did I say match the roving? Okay, match the fleece. And if you want to, but I have a lot of other little roving, so I'm just going to use this. So I don't have to um, comb it out or do anything. So I'm going to take a little bit. That might be a little too big. I'll just do that for now, though. And alpacas have like a little bit on the longer ears. So, okay. So I'm getting um, two similar sized. He says it is like flying everywhere. Lots of static. Okay, so they're bleh. <laughs> sorry. There are different ways to do the ears, but I'm just going to. Um, so you see, I've got it like a little bit long, like this. I'm just gonna roll it up, roll it down, roll it down, like that, and then leave a little bit of fluff to attach. And then I'm going to actually roll it from the side like this because this is going to be a slightly longer ear. So it kind of looks like that. And then I'm going to poke it in place. So let's see, is that coming together? Yeah, it looks like it's coming together, let's see. And this is a part where even though um, this is a Surrey alpaca, <laughs> using wool might be a little, regular wool might be a little easier on smaller things. Let's see if it stakes together. Ah, good. Okay, it actually did it. Good. <laughs> so there's one. And then you can always double, okay, I've got some fluff somewhere. Then you can check against the head or the size guide and make sure you like the rough size and then I'm going to make two matching ones so that's about right for the years and I'll go ahead and just do it again so you can see so right here I'm just rolling it down it's a little bit fluffy and then I'm gonna roll it from the side to make it narrow like that and then place it on the Boom. And poke, 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 poke. Okay. So if you start out with like two similar uh, amounts of fleece, you'll generally get about the same size ears. 
Not always though. <laughs> so if that's the case, you can add it or just start and make a few years and get the ones that match. Okay. So here it is. And so the back side um, is super fluffy. Um, one way, all sorts of stuff. One way you can um, tighten it up is just put it in your palms and just rub it. And it kind of sort of gets it. It didn't do a very good job. So you can also poke from the back. Should have done that maybe from the beginning. All good. Okay. So let me check this way. Okay. Too small to see. <laughs> okay. Now I'm just going to put a tiny bit of pink. So I'm just getting like a pinch rolling it between my fingers kind of into like a little rice shape like that and then I'm just gonna place it and poke it in okay let me use this side poke okay so now I've got two years that roughly match and they're ready to get attached to the head. Let me see if I have a rough idea. Okay. Yeah. So they go relatively towards the top of the head. So I'm going to go ahead and place it in so you can see. Okay, so I got one in, and then I'm going to put the other one in. So I'm using the fluff to get it in, um, and the fluff will get hidden nicely with the, all the um, fleece. So let me, this one's not going in too well. Okay. <laughs> all right, so doesn't look quite there but I think once we get all the other stuff in it'll look fine okay so it's not quite perfect yet but I have it in like that and now we get to have the fun part so now we get to start attaching these little locks so um, all you have to do is sort of gently fluff it like this and this one I'm actually using a baby fleece um, and I using the well with baby fleece it's most of it, it's about the same length, but I'm using his neck fiber because it's a little shorter and it's actually perfect for these little projects so I'm fluffing it and then I'm going to first put it on the top knot so this is called the top knot or with a sir oops wait can you see there we go top knot so with the Surrey alpacas this is kind of where the bangs go and so I'm going to just go ahead and poke okay so I'm just gonna poke it in right here and then I'm going to poke it in in front of the ears and if you are like super super patient you can um, align the locks so that they go down like bangs. That is kind of how the alpaca bangs look, the Surrey alpacas. It just goes like, almost like, yeah, hair, <laughs> like people bangs. Um, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> so this is a quicker way to do it. So all I'm doing is just giving it the bangs, the top knot. This part's got the top knot. And I'm not going to make the top knot so long that it covers their eyes, but right before shearing, some of them do have very long top knots. So this is what I have so far. Okay. I'm sorry, the camera. Oh, okay. <laughs> ah, there, something like that. Okay. And then I'm going to continue on. And so well basically start I like starting from the head and then down the neck the back um, 
And the places where you're going to want to spend a little extra time is around the face. So you want to kind of frame it. Okay. Right here. So I'm just poking along the side so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Kind of like that. Oh, wait, this way. And when I was talking about aligning the fiber, you can, this would be almost too long, but you can actually put it in so that um, it goes along the neckline, the spine, basically back of the neck along the back of the alpaca so they do actually have fiber that goes like that so it's attached at the top if you see any of my shearing videos you'll see how their fleeces come on okay I have done that before but um, they look just as cute to me <laughs> with fluffy poofy hair so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that so I'm going to um, go ahead and uh, do this off camera in a few minutes. Um, you can just fast forward it as well. But let me just do one side. And then pretty much at this point, you're just covering the whole entire body and just making sure that you don't have any bald spots. So I've got these cute little curly locks. I'm going to fluff it up just enough so that there's something that can be poked into stick. So that's so cute, okay, like that. And then I'm gonna put it like this and then I'm gonna poke it like that. And I'm going to do this for the entire body. So this takes a few minutes or a little bit longer depending on the size of your alpaca that you're making. Oh, um, the bottom of the alpaca, um, you can just leave it as is because that's where it's going to be sitting on, uh, sitting, or um, you can get like the, make a fawn roving and cover the bottom if you want this to be covered and neater. Um, I generally don't like to put the fleece on the bottom because then it's a little harder to balance in case the fleece isn't even, but of course you can do that too. <laughs> And usually it's a little more expensive to buy the raw fleeces or washed washed fleeces that are like super soft like this. So, okay, so go ahead and continue with this and I will be back to do the eyes and nose. Okay, so I've attached most of the locks on this alpaca. And at this point, depending on how tight you want it, you could um, keep poking um, to make sure that it's in there really well, or you can leave it kind of nice and fluffy if you kind of like the additional texture. So I'm gonna leave this one a little extra fluffy. So let me just show you what it looks like so far. Okay. So now, um, so with the alpacas, they do obviously have tails, but um, it's kind of hard to see, like um, when you have such a fluffy little thing. Um, so you can add a tail or not. Um, if you wanna add a tail, you can just add like more locks like this, cause that's really kind of what their tail looks like. And then just poke it in the um, rump here. So I don't know if that even looks like a tail, but just, Kind of, it sort of blends right in on the real animal. So, there's the tail. <laughs> okay, so now let's do the eyes. And I'm just going to take a pinch of the black. A little bit of white mixed in there. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little pinch and then I'm gonna split it into two, hopefully roughly equal. And then I'm gonna roll it between my okay I'm just getting rid of this white here okay so I'm rolling rolling okay. and going to look at it okay that looks way too big so that looks a little too big so let's see let me look at the alpaca face yeah, 
so let me get this bigger one so I'm gonna take the bigger one and then split this one into two and maybe that'll be about the right size okay re-roll okay okay I got one okay that looks good and another one okay all right so there's two here Okay, and then I'm going to poke this in. So for my alpaca, I like to do the eyes um, long way. So I'm going to have to put it in looking at it. So I know what I'm doing, and then I'll show you. Okay, so this is the one side so far. So I'm just kind of poking it in so that it's a little bit long up and down. And then I'll put the other one in and hope that it's similar. And if they don't match, you can just make another set and get the ones that match. You can use plastic eyes, I think, of course. I don't know what it looks like with plastic eyes. Okay. Oop. Okay, so I'm poking it in. Okay. And so far it looks like this. All right, so next we'll do the little nose. So I'm gonna use the other piece I had rolled up. And so the alpacas kind of have like the nostrils and stuff, but it's a little hard to make that. So I just make a little black nose like that and then I'm just going to put it on the tip. So I'm going to go ahead and poke it in and then show it to you after I get it in. So you can put in little, um, whole, um, like a little more like a thinner stringy V <laughs> if you want as well. Just put the nose in and there's your alpaca <laughs> okay so you can spend a little more time and tighten it up or make them however you like or make little ones and have lots of them alrighty thank you so much for watching bye now